What do we have here? Jack? Shut up! Oh! Not necessary. You were saying? Jack Sparrow is not my name. My name is Joshua Lee Gibbs. Is that so? It says Jack Sparrow here. It's hard not to protect your family when they're in court, right? Even if it means lying under oath for them. However, it seems that Amber's sister is not that good of a liar, and people are catching on to her lies, especially one witness in particular. And what Jennifer Howell said might just contradict everything that Amber's key witness said. It's really not looking good for Amber right now. The trial between Johnny and Amber is coming to an end, and it seems that they left the best witnesses for the end. There were accusations and a lot of fake tears going around, but it's now only up to the jury to decide who goes home as a winner. Here's a little background information for those of you who haven't been keeping up with this famous trial. We know that Johnny dated Vanessa Paradis for 14 years, and they also have two kids together. But with the beginning of Johnny and Amber's history came Johnny and Vanessa's ending. It all started with one movie and one kissing scene in the shower. Both Johnny and Amber were on set for The Rum Diary in 2009 when they first felt the sparks between them. But they decided to ignore them, until they started officially dating in 2012 and then got married in 2015. You'd think that their relationship was just so perfect that they couldn't wait to tie the knot. But as fast as they got married, they got a divorce even faster. More specifically, just 15 months later. So what happened in that year and a half? Considering along with the divorce, Amber also filed for a restraining order, it seemed that this was going to be one long and painful divorce. Amber immediately started with the allegations the moment she started showing up to places with bruises on her face. Of course, everyone assumed that Johnny was the one who gave them to her, and that was the start of his downfall, which was exactly Amber's intention. But she gave one last hit to Johnny when she released her own op-ed that she wrote for the Washington Post, where she opened up about her experience as a victim of DV. I kept quiet. I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice, and I didn't see myself as a victim. Then, two years ago, I became a public figure representing DV, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Even though Amber never mentioned Johnny Johnny's name, it was obvious who she was talking about. So Johnny was basically cancelled at that point. No more movie deals, and especially no more Disney. Johnny lost everything he had worked for for years. This is why the two of them are on trial today. Johnny sued Amber for $50 million for defamation and for ruining his career. And now both of them are trying to prove themselves, and trying to catch the other one in a lie. So far, almost everyone is Team Johnny, but in the end, it's not in the hands of the fans. There have been many witnesses testifying for and against both Amber and Johnny, and Amber even turned her sister Whitney for help. However, no one really seems to find her sister a reliable witness, and we're going to show you exactly why. Camille Vasquez said, You may have noticed that no one showed up for Ms. Hurd in this courtroom other than her sister. Every other witness who traveled to Virginia for her was a paid expert. It seems that Amber is feeling a little lonely in court since almost everyone is there to support Johnny. However, it must feel good to know that at least she has her sister, Whitney Henriquez, by her side. After all, that's what family is for, even if there are rumors and proof that your own sister hit you. We all have small altercations with our siblings, but this one between Amber and Whitney seemed a little more serious. There was a video release that shows Whitney in a reality show around 2007. Whitney is seen hanging by the pool when people are talking about a fight that happened between her and Amber. Did you get in a fight or something? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got into an altercation. Ow. Oh. I already talked about it. I won't talk about it anymore. I can't believe Amber beat your ass. I know you could beat her ass. We're not going to talk about that. Whitney, truth or dare. Okay, did you really start the fight with your sister or did she start it? For real, for real, for real. We're not going to talk about that. She yes. really did I'm whoop your it. Oh, we're not talking about it. Yeah, I'm done. I guess I'm done talking about it. Years later, right after Amber and Johnny got a divorce, Whitney was asked about what really happened here. Whitney said, I was not talking about a fight. That person is inferring, trying to make a storyline, albeit a bad one. Interesting. She was trying to create a narrative and story that wasn't there. She was trying to make a very, very boring conversation more interesting. Considering she never threw her own sister under the bus, she's not going to start doing it now, which is why she's been saying all kinds of things about Johnny on trial. Starting off with one fight that allegedly happened in March of 2015, that Whitney claims she saw happen with her own eyes. I'm standing up there, I'm at the top of the stairs with my back to the stairs. And that's when Johnny runs up the stairs. And my again, I'm facing Amber. He comes up behind me, strikes me in the back, kind of just somewhere over here. He strikes me in the back. I hear Amber shout, don't hit my fucking sister. 
She smacks him, lands one. In the 2020 UK trial, Whitney claimed that her doubt about Johnny started way before their marriage and that she always told Amber not to marry him. I saw that her face was swollen and she had a mark under her eye, Henriquez said. I had my suspicions before, but it was clear to me. I said, what the F is happening? You have to talk to me. I'm not stupid, I can see he has hit you. She said that she must have done something to annoy him or antagonize him. I told her she needed to leave because it wasn't worth it if he would do that to her. Sometimes he would flat out deny it or downplay it by saying, no, I just pushed her, I didn't hit her. Other times he would acknowledge that he had, but would try to justify it by claiming she did it first and would say, sis, I just lost control, she added. According to Whitney, she was right all along. Apparently, by the end of Amber's marriage to Johnny, she was a completely different person. At first, Amber was Amber. She was, she was loud, fun, funny. She laughed a lot. She uh, was just this happy, bright, fun-loving thing, always surrounded by friends. She suddenly stopped sleeping as much. She wasn't as funny, she wasn't as loud, she wasn't as gregarious as she used to be. Cut to the end of their relationship, she was so physically unwell. But some people seem to not believe all of these claims. After all, Whitney may be a little biased since Amber is her own sister. I think it was a smart strategic move to not cross-examine Whitney. The jury knows that she is Amber's sister, so she's obviously biased. They know her story is a little different than all the evidence that has already been presented. And they've seen pictures that contradict her. Even though almost no one believes a word coming out of Whitney's mouth, there is only one witness whose testimony matters. That witness is Jennifer Howell, who finally testified in court as the trial is coming to an end, giving the jury the last chance to see Amber for the liar that she is. She testified briefly, but it was enough to contradict everything Amber's sister has said so far. Whitney was working as an art salon manager slash director for Jennifer, who was CEO and founder of the nonprofit The Art of Elysium. Howell also said that she loved Whitney and was trying to protect her like a sister. But was it that she was trying to protect her from, though? Jennifer testified that she had sent an email to Whitney in 2020 telling her to do the right thing and tell the truth. Why did you send this email and letter to Miss Enriquez? Because I struggled very much with what to do in a situation that I love someone who I know is doing something very wrong, and I know that they're doing it because they're trying to protect their sister. And I'm trying to protect her, and I'm just trying to get her to wake up and do the right thing, which is tell the truth. That's the only thing that can help everybody involved in this case. We mentioned how Whitney claimed that Johnny laid hands on her. However, Howell said that during those years that they were friends, Whitney had never mentioned that Johnny ever did anything to hurt her. But her recent testimony isn't the only thing that went viral these days. Apparently, Howell also testified back in 2020 for the UK libel trial. Amber's team denied letting Howell's declaration be used as evidence in trial this time. But that didn't stop it from circulating all over social media. And everyone knows that if that declaration was used as evidence, it would have ended Amber long ago. I have learned that Whitney testified in court July 23rd in London about an incident in March 2015 on the stairs at Johnny Depp's penthouse. She testified that Johnny supposedly laid hands on Amber and Whitney on the stairs at Johnny's downtown penthouse, she said in the declaration. Then Whitney said she had to go live with her employer where she had to sleep on their floor. I am that employer. This is not what I was told to be true. First, Whitney came to live in the guest room of my apartment on Wilshire Boulevard. Not on my floor, but in my guest room. Second, when Whitney arrived, she was a mess. Whitney told me she tried to stop her sister Amber from hitting and attacking Johnny on the stairs. Whitney said when she tried to intervene to stop Amber from going after Johnny, Amber nearly pushed Whitney down the stairs. She told me she was worried Amber was going to kill Johnny. And Jennifer also wrote about how Whitney herself told her that Amber cut Johnny's finger. While Amber and Johnny were in Australia, Whitney was in the office sitting in the black and white chairs near the kitchen and loudly proclaimed, oh my god, she has done it now. She has cut off his effing finger. And is this document a true and accurate copy of the declaration that you submitted in the UK proceeding on or about January 13th, 2021? Yes. And are all the statements in your UK declaration accurate and true? I mean, yes, I signed it, yes. Unfortunately, the jurors will not get to see this declaration, and we're sure that Amber's team is happy to know that. Otherwise, if Johnny's team did use this as evidence, it would have been clear who'd win this trial, and Amber would be going home $50 million poorer. I want to give Jennifer Howell props. Her standing up and telling the truth, knowing everything Amber and Whitney Heard did to silence her, could not have been easy. Still, she did it, and here's to that. Just knowing that Jennifer and Whitney were friends, yet Jennifer is testifying against her, 
shows that everything she's saying is true. In the end, this isn't about bringing Amber down for her. She just wants to help Whitney, who is also a victim of Amber's lies just like Johnny. Make sure to also watch this video.